So I'm sitting here patiently waiting for Nick and Zoe to pull in my driveway. I wish they would hurry up. woke up this morning and got ready and I'm dying to go outside to see what my husband did. Wednesday. Lots going on today. I told you guys that Chestnut Hills Farms come into my farm today and I want to tell you why I'm so excited. It is so important for farms to support farms and these guys are driving probably an hour and a half maybe even longer to come to my farm. And I just feel like when you're a farm, it is so important for other farms to encourage you to keep going because they get you. They understand the hard work behind trying to keep social media up, trying to answer the phone, trying to uh, train animals, trying to feed animals, trying to be a wife or a husband and trying to balance kids. There's a lot that goes into farming. So I'm super excited. This morning I was out doing my feeding and getting things ready for all the people that are coming to my farm today. And today was the first day that I introduced my male rescue to the other ducks. And I kind of want to show you the results of it. And as you can see, they're all getting along, which is just wonderful. The past couple of days I've had him separated and I could tell he was really, really, really sad. And so today I realized that he, it was time for him to go be with the other ducks and the chickens. And he's just so much happier. Today I hope to spread awareness about dumping ducks and how to make a difference in your community. The first step is caring either caring for the rescue or rescuing yourself. There's several ways to help me. Number one is by donating to a rescue in your area. Number two is by volunteering at a rescue. Every time you like, share, watch a video, you're helping make a difference in that rescue's life. All four of these rescues were all preventable and it was all from neglect. Number one was dumping a duck. Number two is running over a duck at a local lake by not obeying the speed limit. Number three is not closing the parks in the middle of the night, allowing people to come in and abuse the ducks. Number four is not keeping your dog on a leash at a local park. You can help me spread awareness to others by sharing this post. I hope and pray to give these ducks a chance, a chance to recover, a chance to have a good life, and a chance to make a difference in someone else's life. Making a difference is easy. It's just taking the first step to know how to make the difference. But these animals need lots of love and lots of attention. And I'm so thankful and so blessed that God chose Sneed's farmhouse for their forever home. Education is so important. And I hope this video is education to you guys that want to go get animals for your kids for Easter or Christmas or you think it's going to be a great idea to get a rabbit or a duck or a chick and you don't understand the longevity of 
taking care of these animals. It's not like you can just take care of them for six months and then go, my kids aren't playing with them. And so I, I'm just gonna let them out in the yard and they can fend for themselves. That is a death sentence. That is cruelty. That is not something that needs to happen. Do If you want your kid to play with a pet, come to a petting zoo. Come let them love on the animals. It's $10 to come to my petting zoo. Come and let them love on the rabbits for Easter or the baby chicks or the baby goats. Don't purchase them for your house if you're not ready to have um, the correct care and the correct um, space for the animals and not think long-term before you get an animal. There's several, several rescues in my community and um, I, have, I actually haven't met them yet, but I do plan on getting with them and meeting them. But I want to I want to talk about what's involved with a rescue. Number one, cost. You know, I don't care what kind of rescue it is, if it's a dog or a cat rescue or a pig rescue, there's cost involved. You have to be able to house them. You have to be able to get vet care. You have to be able to provide nutrition and feed for them. So there's a lot involved financially in a rescue. Also, there is a lot of um, time and energy because you either have to go pick the rescue up or you have to transport it or you have to find a home for it or you have to get proper care for it for it or um, sometimes it requires getting up multiple times in the middle of the night for feeding. There's a lot of time and energy involved in a rescue. So I hope that you'll find a local rescue that means a lot to you and research the rescue and give back to them. Because without funds, a rescue cannot survive. And a lot of their energy is going into protecting these animals and nurturing these animals. So it's really hard to also fundraise for the funds for these animals. So I hope wherever you live, I hope you'll find a local rescue that you can maybe volunteer at or give back to. Here they are. All that's going through my mind is to hug Farmer Red. Oh, Farmer Red, yes! He runs around. Chance here wants my main roaster and he thinks he can make a difference with his being mean. So we're fixing to film this and see how well he does. Hey guys, guess what? I'm dressed. I did not show up in my pajamas. I'm so excited. I'm so excited that they're here. I finally got to meet Zoe. That's right. And Nick. <laughs> and I'm super excited. And I'm so glad that you came to my farm because I think it's so important for farms to support farms. That's right. And a little bit about you. Yeah, well, we are Nick and Zoe Baker of Chestnut Hills Farmstead, and we are in central Alabama. And we do farm to table, chickens, turkeys, and pigs, along with all of our animals. We've got Farmer Rhett, and we've got our other two kids with us, and we are coming to enjoy the day here visiting with Miss Judy. I'm so glad y'all came. <laughs> I was sitting 
sitting here taking a break, trying to take care of myself because you know my health is number one or there wouldn't be a Steen's Farmhouse. And I was laying here and I was just thinking about Zoe, like just loving my alpaca. And I had this sudden thought, did she put my alpaca in her car? Aren't they precious? They're um, four weeks old. Oh, they're four weeks old today. Today's Wednesday. So they're four weeks old today. There's four of them. They're so cute. All right, let's go check on my husband. I see him out here and I filled his belly up when he got home from work. So he should be ready to just rock and roll this afternoon. So earlier, you know, Zoe had given me some cookies and I ate a bite out of every cookie so Shane, my husband, wouldn't eat them. And now I feel bad. Now I feel bad because he's up there killing himself working and I ate every one of the cookie bite. I ate a bite out of every one of the cookies and I, I feel guilty. I just feel so guilty because I ate one bite out of every cookie. So this is what I decided to do. I decided to get them and take them in my bedroom and stick them in the drawer and pretend like we never got them.